Um, so why don't we just get started and see? Oh, there she is. Hi, Michelle. What? I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. My. This. This is what I'm working with right here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, it's like a little blue. You can't see any keys. Oh, no keys. And Bluetooth. No keys. This was a joke. <laughs> present. This was a joke. And now I have to use it. Oh no. And you I'm, have to really practice it, your home run keys. Wired mouse. Yes, I do. I certainly do. I'm really frustrated. I'm having a really frustrating day. Oh, okay. Sorry. Lance, um, one of you the have team a sharpie members. somewhere. <laughs> Ooh, not a bad idea. One of the team members actually exclusively uses his keyboard. He doesn't actually use a mouse at all. It's so impressive to see him navigate. It's crazy cool. Okay. Hi, everyone. It's Friday. Really exciting. I'm going to tease Mia's um, very exciting news that she has a virtual background to share on Casual Friday. And she's been very excited about this. <laughs> so there's something to look forward to. Um, but right now, let's quickly get through everybody's um, kind of where everyone's at and make sure that everyone has something to do for the rest of the day and the beginning of Monday. Um, and let's start with Sinead and Fanola. Um, we have all of our scenarios, all the possible ones, I think, that we can have for the testing drawn out. We've okay. yet to test them because we're not really sure about the docx, but we have a problem with their code um, because when we tried to move the preview to being after the signatures, just the format won't follow and questions aren't going where they're supposed to and they're not being asked properly, so we kind of need to fix that. Right. Okay. So what I'm hearing is that you're, you've got your scenarios and stuff. We need to figure out the docx side of the testing as well. Um, mm -hmm. But we need to fix the code as well. So there's two main things. And now, is this something that you could post in the code channel and somebody could we jump on We just posted it about an hour ago. So we're just kind of working on it now. Did you see okay. Quentin's, you saw Quentin's response, right? Yeah, we're just okay. trying to make that work or trying to figure out how to put it in. Okay, so if you don't get, if you don't come right with that, um, I mean, now it's like nighttime. So if you don't come right with that, maybe on Monday morning, um, you guys could reach out and just ask for like some hands on help. Isn't, Message isn't, me if you want. I've, I think I've understood what Quentin posted. Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that be a really good um, example of when if you posted to github somebody could look at it and post a branch and then you could see how it works you'd have yours and you'd see that one then you could compare them yeah i mean you, someone could also make a, a a gist i mean yeah there are different ways to handle that i'm just saying what people know already this would be a good way to build on the knowledge that people already have and have a real life uh teaching moment <laughs> yeah it would probably be easier well, maybe it wouldn't be easier in Slack. I mean, depending on how, if Complex. how comprehensive your, yeah. you want your example to be. So, so, so I'm, I'm pretty sure the problems in the docx though, which is one thing to point out. So it'll be hard yeah. to see that in a diff on GitHub. Yeah. Okay. So, but I do like that. Is there any chance that you guys could just try? I mean, you said you're already trying to work on what Quentin has said. Um, if you just try implement we can, it we can keep working on it um we've been playing around with it for the last hour so we can keep playing around and see if it if it can come right and thanks for the help quinton on that yeah we really appreciate it thank you but don't you know if you're not if you don't sit all night now and you know um do that it's a friday night guys go out and have fun <laughs> yeah um, or don't go out it all depends don't go out that's yeah, true don't go out guys um no it's dope because ireland is opening up at a crazy rate and just no one is wearing masks and it's just terrifying so um that was a joke but a poor one okay so i think that we why don't you guys try for the rest you know you didn't even have to just maybe monday morning you can try and then by say 12 your time on monday if you ha if you haven't fixed it or if you, know, if you haven't come right then you can just um drop a line and that's when people will start waking up. Um, but I'm also thinking that the scenarios, you finished your scenarios, I would like somebody to have a look at that. And I think Chandler has offered to review scenarios for us. He's got some experience there. 
Um, and I mean, Mia has had experience, I think Vinny as well. He's pretty au fait with the whole testing process. So he's quite a good person to go through these things with. Um, and as I said, these things can kind of run in parallel. As I said, for the DocX testing, we're still trying to figure out a way in which we can test the DocX, but it doesn't prohibit you guys from moving on to writing your template test case because that's only a separate part of the whole testing process. So um, I think Mia might be able to explain a little bit more. Mia and Vinny have been working on their template test case. So they've got some kind of understanding of how it all works. And I think Mia, you'll agree with me that you can do the testing of the interview without worrying about testing the DocX. Ours is a PDF, so I don't know what the <laughs> DocX is going to be like, if it's going to be different, but... But yeah. I mean, the tabs, the tabs are different, right? You, you write one whole sheet for the interview yeah. and you write another sheet for the testing the actual Correct. output. Correct. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't let this be a blocker. And I think we are going to try and figure this out and hopefully have something by Monday on how to test the, the DocX. But it doesn't mean to say that you can't start on the interview. So if you find like you work on this for another hour on Monday and you just come to, you know, you just can't come right, post the message in the code channel and then reach out to me and I'll help you start with the test template. Um, based on your scenarios. Okay. Okay, Nick and Jack, where are you guys at? So we started um, drafting up the, um, the Google Sheet for the testing. And when we were doing that, we did notice a couple issues with our code or like a couple like bugs. Um, and we fixed those bugs this morning actually. And then we liaised with Caroline, um, we sent her our code so that she can get it to an SME uh, reviewer, our expert. Okay. Perfect. So did you send her the YAML or the link to the interview? I sent her everything. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Jake, you guys yeah. are on it. So yeah, so I'm really excited, but I don't, don't hold your breath. It looks like the woman who's in charge of training CPCS attorneys in Worcester is going to be our SME. So her boss told me that she was Great. going to do it. So, so we'll just keep our fingers crossed that this actually comes through. So before, before I even emailed her, I got the, both the link to the interview so she can run it um, from, from Vinny and Jack, uh, not Vinny and Jack, Jack and Nick. And I've sent that off to her, but I just, it was about, what was it, about 10, 30, 11 this morning, right? So a lot of people have a holiday today too. So I'm not sure. Juneteenth. Get not Juneteenth, yeah. Thank you, Mia, for educating me. I feel, <laughs> I was very grateful for that. Um, Do you, does Suffolk have a holiday? I, yeah, mm. actually. Well, is it? We were mm. sent some kind of How were we? by our dean today. Harvard, Harvard has a holiday. I didn't know that till I emailed Harvard this morning, but. GBLS has a holiday. Who does? Greater GBLS? Boston Legal Services does. No. Let me see. You wouldn't think with Kate working her. Uh, <laughs> it's a joke. It's Courts a joke. Are still open. I mean, I've been working since you know who knows when, right? And I'm sure all my colleagues are working as well. So. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I shouldn't okay, say we have so, a holiday. So, like, we just had, we got a, a special note from the dean. Yes, we have an email. Ooh, um, yes. I appreciate the email. I'm being recorded. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we have a holiday with an assignment to watch as many Black Lives Matters movies and, you know. Right, and, right. So you have to do that on top of fitting in everything else. But that's okay. Yeah, actual, I mean, it's the no. spirit, right? It's the spirit. So I think that just on that point, Nick and Jack, um, perhaps, you know, I, you said that you were working on your scenarios while you were going through and you found some bugs and now you're confident with the code. Have you finished your scenarios yet or are you still working on those? We were, um, you know, we were thinking whether or not to wait on the SME review or not to continue with the scenarios, but we basically just have the template ready for when we really okay. want to Okay, perfect. Well, because you have the template ready, I would like to, for you guys to reach out to Chandler because I have, uh, he has, I said he has offered to go through this. If he could just cast his eye over it just to make sure the template, you know, it makes sense. And then if anything changes between the template and the SME review, we can go back in and update that. Um, how does that sound? Sounds good. That sounds good. I think he is available today. Just drop him, you know, it's his name is Chandler Burnham. Um, okay. He's in like the Slack, one of the yes, Slack channels. Yeah. He's right. the only Chandler, I think. Okay. Um, okay, so that's you guys, and then I've got Mia and Vinny. Yeah, so we have just been continuing on with the, we're on like the unassigned tests, like cases and runs, and we're just like going through those. Um, 
and then I know we're meeting after this um, to or like after like the fun Friday thing uh, to go over some yeah. of it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So just an update for the rest of the group. Mia and Vinny have done the test case template and I went through it with them and the automation looks really good. Um, so I said that the next thing would be to do an actual test case based on one of the scenarios. So that's what they're working on now. Um, so I'll have a look at that and then, and then see if that's, if that's looking good. I'm sure it will be. Um, okay. Aubrey and Matt and also Blake. <laughs> So um, we met with you yesterday and we put in most of the changes that uh, you suggested and um, we're, we're mostly done. We, we ran in with a little bit of a, a blocker, I guess, with the signatures, um, the date and the signatures aren't populating in the PDF. So we're, um, we're trying to figure that out and we might need to ask uh, Quentin or Michelle or someone to help us with that. But um, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, I wonder if maybe after, after I'm having a call, we've got casual Friday for an hour and then we've got, I'm going to have a call with Mia and Vinny and then, um, perhaps we could have a call after that and just go through the changes and see what it looks like. Um, and, and the code is, is looking good. Cause I think that was the thing we would change. You guys were changing the order of a lot of questions. I'm just going to jump in. Um, yeah, we got the order changed, but it's, I, I kind of am concerned that it was a little janky in how I changed it. So I mm. would appreciate eyes in general. Okay, uh, well, let's, do, let's have a look at it and see if we can also can't figure out why the date's not pulling through. Yeah, it was, it was fine before yesterday. So we have no idea why it stopped working. Um, but that sounds good. Okay, um, perfect. Thank you so much. Um, Okay, and then Blake is part of that team, and he was on the call yesterday with some very helpful suggestions about the plain language, for example. Um, and his assignment was to watch the um, videos, um, the kind of doc assembly introduction videos. So I just wanted to check in on how you're doing with that, Blake. Yeah, I um, I've done the first two so far. Um, they're like an hour long each, so I'm just like working through them. And then watch I them was double uh, speed. I know, I know that I'm like trying to like skip it, but then I don't want to skip anything. Um, and I've also like kind of downloaded all the uh, the applications and I'm just getting my like bookmarks organized and getting logged on to everything. Okay, perfect. So we'll keep you in, maybe if you want to stay in the loop with that Aubrey and Matt's call, because this is going to be the form that you're working on. Um, mm -hmm. Just so that you kind of stay in, in the loop, because obviously you were on that call yesterday with changing the order and changing the questions themselves. So over if you could just actually message in that DM with Matt, Blake, and myself, um, and then that'll be great. Yeah, and, and Aubrey mentioned that she would help me get some of the coding stuff set up on Monday morning. Oh, fantastic. Just to, That's really... just to show me around, yeah. That's very nice. This is exactly what we were looking for, is that, you know, passing the knowledge down and across. Um, and I think that happened in the code channel just now when somebody said that they encountered the same issue and were able to assist. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That was okay. Good. Again, it's a different thing for PDF, but that doesn't mean someone else didn't have that same problem on PDF. Thank so. you for that, Aubrey. Yeah. yeah, it was different for PDF, but like, good catch. It is. It is basically the same problem. So that was a great catch. Okay, so that's that's that. And then after on an article, we'll figure out the next step after I talk to you guys. Um, okay, then we've got James, Jason, and Eleni. Yeah, we, uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> we met with Quentin uh, this morning and just fixed some coding issues we have, and now we're working on testing. And you say you're working on testing. Are you, you, I was confident with your te template. So is that, are you writing out your different scenarios now? Is that the stage that you're at? Yeah, and then, yeah, we met with Michelle yesterday afternoon too to make sure, yeah, the template's all good to go and add what we needed to add. So, yeah, we're on the running the scenarios now. Okay, perfect. So then maybe the next thing is to, I said I looked at the, the first two and a half scenarios and I, I like them, but did the template change it much? Um, we just, we added some like, uh, like no selection can't continue as like scenario options okay. um, where we needed that. So that was the okay, main perfect. thing. So maybe you do those scenarios um, and 
drop them in the testing channel and, and um, we can have a look at those and see uh, that they're, you know, before you do all of them, maybe do another few and then just ping Michelle, myself and Chandler and one of us will come on and um, take a look at those for you. All right, sounds good, thanks. Okay, um, and then we've got Mike and Tyler, just Mike. Uh, yeah, Tyler's working on the um, testing template. I'm doing some um, revisions and going back and forth with Gordon, trying to do some revisions on the thing, but we should be um, moving to the next stage pretty soon. Okay, fantastic. That's good news. Good job, guys. Um, and then last but not least, we've got Anvata, who's working on the test templates, the test um, scenarios. How's it going, Anvata? Um, it's going okay, I guess. Um... I was working on that yesterday and then I tried to navigate the interview in order to make sure that I had all the screens, but yeah. at some point the interview just froze. And then every time I would go, every time I would exit that and then go back into it, it would still be frozen. So I found a way around that today. Um, so I'm going to get back into doing that today and making sure that I have all the screens down. That's strange though. Does can I, know can why I that just, would be happening? Can I just recommend that the thing is you keep going back to the same interview unless the link that you have says has a special code in its URL. The one I, I don't know if you remember, I showed you this a while ago. Maybe it says uh, after you know the question mark, it says new underscore session equals one yep. and right. So and to separate the next URL argument parameter thing. So um, that can help with that problem. So when you provide links, try and put the the um, but, uh, that link. It. That link was from Kate, right? Uh, I think it was the one that you sent when you sent me the link to the Google Sheet. The link to the so it was it a link to the interview? Yeah. I must have gotten it wrong. Okay, let me ask Kate and see because I think she has the right one. Um, I can also just open the one that she sent because she also sent me one, but I just opened the one that you sent and that's just the one that's been open for. Yeah, for. I think it's probably better, definitely better to use the one that she's, that she sent you. I've obviously made a mistake with, with our, with my link. Okay. Um, but I also figured that, um, yeah, the only reason I wanted to do that is because even though we, uh, even though I have that document from Kate with all the, just with all of the screens written out, I realized that there's some places where um, for some reason when I do it, there's an extra screen, there's an extra question that shows up on some screens. And I also wanted to make sure that the inputs were, because um, in some places the address, for example, like has multiple, there's like multiple lines where you fill it out, but then in other places, it's just one line. And so in that place, I don't need to have the optional address uh, inputs and then also the non-optional ones. Like I don't need to have two separate options there. I don't know if this makes sense. <laughs> I think I think this would be, make a lot more sense if we look at the actual interview itself. So maybe maybe what we can do is um, my day is looking a little bit busy after this, but I think perhaps maybe Michelle, do you have time to um, assist Ambita with this? Sure. I think um, after. Um, after I look at a PR or before, I just need to make time for a PR. So somewhere okay. in there. Do you um, oh, oh is, it, is that tomorrow? Tomorrow or Monday? When is it? Say it again, one more time. <laughs> Any time, just, it just depends on Anvita's availability. Okay. Anvita, message me, we'll figure it out. Okay. All right, perfect. I'm sorry, um, figure, figure what out? When the to issue. talk with you, when to, when to meet about that. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, right, so that's everybody. Everybody has action points going forward. Um, I'm gonna meet with me and Bunny and Aubrey and um, Matt after Casual Friday. Um, just wanted to check if there's anything else that needs to be covered. Um, any, I'm gonna open the floor, anything that anybody wants to mention? Michelle, I thought you were raising your hand. David. I just, yeah, I, I just want to say everyone's doing great work. It's amazing to see all the stuff that uh, has come out in the last couple of weeks. I mean, everyone, just think back. 
I mean, I know like COVID time is like five years have elapsed <laughs> since you started, but um, just think back like two weeks, like uh, a lot of you had never done any coding whatsoever. And now you're producing these wonderful things that are going to go out and help people during this uh, time when people really need help. Um, and so I'm very excited to see everything that you're putting together and to see it start going across the finish line and to see it start going out in the world. We've gotten the, since we got the links from the court, uh, we've I just looked and 400 people have come and looked at the TRO. Only 6% of them have actually gone through and done something with it. But uh, nonetheless, actually 6% uh, click-through rate for that entire form is actually pretty good. Um, um, so, yeah, I'm not sure how many of those actually eventually get, have gotten filed, but Quentin can, and I can go pull those numbers eventually. But the point is, things are out there. They're helping people. Uh, we're having nice motion with the 209A. Um, I think we're going in a good direction there, too. So I just look forward to seeing all these forms, and I've talked enough. Thank you. Can, I, um, can we, Lily finished the financial statement, right? Is that done? I believe so, yeah. Is it even though it's not through the wizard and everything? Can we put that in line for the whole process of testing, et, et cetera? Because that is a form that people use all the time in probate and family court, and it's pretty confusing, from my understanding, right? Yeah, well, it's not confusing. It just takes forever. And what happens is advocates spend an hour and a half with people trying to get it filled out, and it's been people have wanted it forever. Um, I don't know. Is it? It's probably not. It's, is it not on the? Um, it's not on the court priority list. Yeah, I don't list? think it's on the court's list. Um, is it something that sometimes goes with the two hundred nine A? No, they have no, their no. It's a, it has its own thing, but it is something that any time. It's it, it's almost like almost anything you do in probate and family court, you have to file this thing. It's four pages long. It's it's tedious and it's frustrating and it's something that people could do on their own especially if they have um you know if they have a, a an interview to do they can go away come back and also sometimes the interview explains some of these confusing things like whether it's heat or gas or electricity which just flummoxes people but i know the community has wanted it the self-represented community has wanted it for years so i think we can put that yeah oh Seems like a good one that the court might have just not thought of asking for us if they yeah. wanted to object and to that. In fact, it. you know, the court is in theory has been working for six years on a guide and file divorce. And I bet you what's holding up the guide and file divorce is the financial statement. And divorce is the number one f most filed form in probate and family court. So that needs this financial statement and it needs a financial statement and i suspect they didn't put divorce on the on the list because in theory they are doing it but you know it's, it hasn't been a and i'm sure that's what's holding them up so if we so could have on your thing is that we yeah we could have a standalone financial statement and we can so basically we need to reach out to lily confirm that that's ready and then do the finished carpentry on that and test it yeah yeah, yeah. If, if it's far along then i don't see any harm in trying to get it polished and Put it before the court and see if they want to go with it. Yeah, yeah, I bet you. I can't. I can't imagine they wouldn't. But I just don't want to derail anything that uh, no. is what the court has already asked for. No. Okay, I've made a note of that. Let's. We can maybe discuss that on Monday. Okay. I think that's the appropriate time to discuss these things. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. So, anything? Anything else from anybody else? I may have a phone number validator that's mostly Ooh, working. That's exciting. Yeah. I've wanted one of those for a while. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. It's a little bit of a, a hack on top of Doc Assemble, but it looks pretty. So I don't know. Might have to tweak a little CSS. That's all. That's um, all. Okay. <laughs> that's great news. Thank you, Michelle. Um, an update from Lance and I. We're still working on our civil action cover sheet. Um, Lance has done some really crazy arithmetic, um, which is very exciting to see. Um, I'm doing the radio buttons, so <laughs> that's <laughs> fair work, I think. Um, yeah, so that's on our side. Um, hopefully we'll get something done this weekend and then be able to move on with um, maybe an SME review at some point next week. Um, right, so I think that calls an end to this meeting. Um, I know Mia's really excited for Casual Friday. Uh, of course, it's not mandatory for everyone to stay on, but it would love it would be lovely to chat to you guys. Last week, we learned about Mia and Vinny's love of scuba diving, 
and how Benny learned to scuba dive in a freezing cold lake in New York in the middle of the night, right? Or was it just... <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and stop our recording here. Yeah.